So here, usually after harvesting coffee from the garden, we have to make sure that we dry it properly to keep it to, to maintain it in a, in a good condition that the nutrients we take in are intact. So here, as you can see, there is a kind of a wire mesh. This also helps us to sieve the coffee residues and we remain with the, the real coffee fruit we want the coffee cherries we want so this kind of drying also is faster than the other ordinary drying here it takes about five to six days coffee is dry because the aeration coming from under through the wire mesh also fastens the drying here only that we have to keep on turning so as we turn like this we are turning the coffee the one which would be under, not getting direct sunshine, comes up and also we are, we are churning, then the, the, the dust and the, the other residues find a way to drop down. So in that way you remain with only clean coffee here, as you can see this one here. So basically, and the, as you can see, we have the black pink uh, when, when the rains come in. Eh? We cover, especially at night, we usually cover, we cover with this. When it rains, we cover. We don't want water to go in. So, during day and it's shiny, we open for it to dry. So once it's put here, we only remove it from here to take it to the store when it's dry. That's mainly what we do. Here. 